Yep, you heard that right. Spill all the tea. But as I said, I like them and they are done well. What can we do next? Let's have a good chat. Hi guys, what is up? And welcome to the Theatre Lounge. Welcome back to everyone who's been here before and a massive welcome to everyone who's here for the first time. Here at the Theatre Lounge, I talk about everything theatre because I love this industry so much, but I also give my top tips when it comes to auditions, colleges, and everything else that comes with it. I upload videos twice a week, every Tuesday and every Friday, so if you haven't yet, make sure that you smash that subscribe button over here to keep updated with all of my theatre content, and whilst you're at it, remember to hit that little bell button next to it to get notified when the videos go live. So, for today's video, I wanted to talk about some movie musicals because I feel at the moment there's quite a lot being updated about this. There's quite a lot of musicals being adapted to go to the big screen, so I was like, ooh, a great topic to talk about. So here we go. Without further ado, let's get into it. So before we say anything, I just want to say that I like movie musicals. I am a fan of them, and I think when done well, they can be great and something to have for the rest of your life, to be honest, because obviously shows on Broadway, West End, tours and whatever, they will close, whereas movie musicals are there to stay. But as I said, I like them and they are done well. By the way, excuse the lighting, but the sun is kind of coming in and out, so if that's changing, soz. So, yeah, obviously, like everyone else, I have my favourite and I have the ones that I don't really like, but I'll talk about that a bit later on. But first of all, we need to talk about some movie musicals that are being talked about right now, like Mamma Mia 3. Yep, you heard that right, Mamma Mia 3 is being rumoured. It's been rumoured for a while, but last week, co-creator Julie Kramer actually spoke about it and said that she was meant to be working on it whilst this pandemic is happening and all these lockdowns all over the world. But obviously with these situations, things have changed. But she said that she is going to look at it, she's going to start working on it and see where we can take the story next. She also said that most likely Universal are going to say yes to it, so looks like this thing is going to be taken off soon. Now, I'm personally a bit like, oh, really? Do we need another Mamma Mia movie? Because not being funny, there's like two already. Do we need a third one? I'm a kind of person though that I like the original. I might like the sequel. But the original is obviously original, like for me Mamma Mia is Mamma Mia, that's the one I love. I did enjoy the second one, but I mainly enjoyed it because of Cher. I don't think it was as special as the first one, if you know what I mean. Let me know what you think in the comments box below, I'd love to hear about it. But yeah, I'm just thinking kind of, where can the actual story go from here, kind of? We already know that Donna has died now and everything and all of that happened and the hotel is finally open with Sophie like taking care of it. And yeah, I'm just like... What can we do next? Where can the story go? Because I actually can't see it go anywhere else. Although, saying that, I think it could work well if it's like a prequel, like Donna's story when she was young. We actually have like a full movie blown on that, all about Donna and how she kind of lived her life and then how she got pregnant with the three dads. But we actually lived through it, not just for one scene, but for a full movie, go in depth on that or else I thought maybe it could be like an in-between movie between the first one and the here we go again because I feel like it was a massive jump she was gonna get married by the end of the first one and then she's expecting a baby and apart from that she's opening the hotel and Donna has died there's a lot that has been going on so I feel that could also work if there's a movie that kind of joins the two of them but then I don't know how it'll work to be like one three two where it should have been one two three Yeah, I think it's weird. I don't know where they're going to go with the story. Don't get me wrong. I'm excited to watch it. I'm always going to be watching it. But yeah, I'm just like not sure about it. But the exciting thing about it is that Judy Kramer, the co-creator, actually said that they're looking at including some of the new ABBA music that was written for the virtual reality show ABBA thing that happened. Yeah, they're looking at including some of them songs as well. And also, Bjorn, who is part of ABBA as well, said that he's looking forward into working with it if this goes through. So yeah, there's kind of good things to it as well, exciting things to look forward to. But for me personally, I actually don't know where it's going to go. Let me know what you think, because I want to hear about this. Let me know all your thoughts in the comments box below, and let's have a good chat. Right, the next movie that I want to talk about is actually Dear Evan Hansen. So, yes, I think quite a lot of us know that the Dear Evan Hansen movie has been rumoured for quite a while, and we know that it's in the works somehow, like... Very, very early stages of it, obviously. 
But yeah, we got more news about it last week. So here we go, let's pill all, all the tea. So back in 2018, this musical was picked to become a movie musical by Universal. And a few weeks after that, it was announced that Mark Platt, who is Ben Platt's dad, actually was announced to be a co-producer on it. So that is very exciting as well. Obviously, since then, kind of a few years passed and we haven't heard much about it except for rumors and everything. But now last week, again, was announced that Ben Platt will be reprising his role as Evan Hansen, and I am extremely happy about that. Yeah! I think he's done such a great job originating the role on Broadway and like carrying it on, and he's made such a name for the musical. I like, don't get me wrong, I love the musical for what it is, but I do believe that Ben Platt actually kind of made the musical what it is in a way. Like, he invested so much in the character. He made us go on a journey, but like, I haven't actually seen it live yet. I've never seen it on Broadway, nor on the West End. I've never seen it. And I know the journey. I know what's happening because I think Ben Platt made the role, like, come out of the pages. He made the role alive. And I think, one, first of all, because of all of that, he deserves it. And two, as I said, we all know what Ben Platt did to the role. So it's going to be a bit weird seeing someone else doing it. If you know what I mean, because I feel like Dear Evan Hansen is still in that stage as where it's kind of a mainstream musical. Like, people who are not obsessed with musical theatre would probably still know about it. And obviously, we all know that Ben Platt has always been a massive star. And obviously, after this, it's even better. So, it's going to be a great name to have on the movie. But now, let's talk about the actual musical and what I think about it. And I think that it's a great idea to make it into a movie because I feel like with movies, you can reach more people. And this musical has a great message behind it. So for that reason, yes, go ahead. I agree completely. But I'm just scared that on screen is gonna lose some of its spark. I personally feel like on stage theatre has that spark to it that can only be created in the moment and that's what's so beautiful about theatre. But yeah, I'm not sure if it's gonna work as well. Like, don't get me wrong, I do hope it works brilliantly and I've got no doubt that they're gonna do a massive job about it and they're gonna like work so hard on it and it's gonna turn out incredible but yeah you know what i mean like on stage is on stage is real it's real human contact when you're in a theater and you're seeing it when it's going to be translated onto movie not sure but yeah i'm really looking forward to hear more about the Evan hansen the movie musical now because i think it's going to be a great success i want to know everything about it i want to know the casting i want to know when it's coming out actually there are rumors that it's coming out 11th of march 2022 for some like fan page on Instagram that like worked out the Universal schedule and they said that there's a movie musical coming that day and nothing else has been announced so people are saying that it could be Devin Hansen coming out in March 2022 but who knows we're just here waiting to see but let me know in the comments box below if you want any more news about Devin Hansen the movie musical because when I hear anything I'll be more than happy to make a video about it now let's talk about another movie musical that I want to talk about today and that is the In The Heights movie. Okay, now I know that most of us know about this and I am extremely happy that it is happening. I think this is one of them musicals that is gonna work so brilliantly on the white screen. Just because of where it is set, of the music and everything, I think that is something you can create. So with In The Heights the movie, the filming started last year in June 2019 and then we got a trailer in December and that trailer I personally love so much. I think it's absolutely incredible and it gives us a true insight of what it's going to be like. I think they managed to capture the whole area pretty well. All the costumes look incredible. The scenery looks great. The trailer that was released in December, the timings of it were absolutely brilliant. Everything like was in the correct time to keep you wanting to watch more. And I think that that's a brilliant step to be honest. It's gonna make people want to watch it and that's all we need. It's also got great reception from all the reviewers and everything. It looks like it's gonna be absolutely amazing. And I, for one, can't wait to watch this whole thing for all the reasons about it, but especially the casting. Yes, the casting looks absolutely amazing. People like Anthony Ramos, who's gonna be playing Usnavi, who we all, we all know from Hamilton. There's also Lin-Manuel Miranda, who's gonna be in the musical as well. So yeah, it looks absolutely insane. The unfortunate thing about this is that it was meant to be released this year, so we could have had it this year, 
and now obviously because of what's happening with the world, is pushed back to next year and we've got to wait a little bit longer. But if you look at it on the bright side, it's going to be something to look forward to go to the theatre for next year after all of this is blown away and we're back to normal. And yeah, I for one am going to be there right away, I know that, so... Exciting! But the three main movie musicals I wanted to talk about today because I feel like they're the most recent ones and the most that need to be spoken about at the moment. But quickly before we end this video, I need to mention some of my all-time favourite movie musicals and let me know what you think as well. So my all-time favourite movie in general, just movie in general, has to be Burlesque. I absolutely love it. I remember watching it every single day. To be honest, I still watch it at least twice a month. And yeah, I basically think it's incredible. Everything about it is really good. And also, it's been said that they're trying to adapt it to become an on-stage musical. And literally, I cannot wait. I physically cannot wait for it because I think it's going to be incredible. Also, I really enjoyed the 1980 original Fame movie musical. I think it was brilliant. I did like the newer one, not as much as the original, but yeah, that's just my personal opinion. Let me know what you think in the comments box below. Let me know which one you prefer. That would be fun to know. And then another movie musical that I love so much has to be Sweeney Todd. I think they managed to capture everything about it and make it work really brilliantly on screen as well. But with that one, I do have to say, I actually watched the original movie of it, not the movie musical, the actual movie. It's so dark, but it's so good. I couldn't keep my eyes off. I personally, I'm not a person for blood and all that, but with that movie, let me tell you, I could not keep my eyes off it. But there we go. Thank you guys for joining me. I do hope you've enjoyed this video today. Let me know what other content you'd like me to create because I love creating content that you guys want to watch. But also remember to follow me on all of my social media platforms. I will link everything down below as well for you. So make sure that you follow me there and get your daily dose of musical theatre. If you enjoyed this video, remember to hit that thumbs up button that I give it a like. But also subscribe to my channel for more theatre content. Thank you guys for joining me and I will see you all on Friday. Bye guys! The trailer that they created, the timings were brilliant to keep brilliant. But the exciting thing about it is that Judy Kramer. Oh, blah, 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 blah.